Okay, hold up a second. It's got the glittery slate edges again! Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are well. It is time for my favorite time of the month. This is like the thing I look forward to every month. As soon as it's over, I look forward to it again. It's time for my fairy loot. Oh, that way up. The level of unprofessionalism. Far too much. My Fairy Loot unboxing. I'm very lucky that Fairy Loot have been sending me these boxes recently. The first box, which I had last month, was absolutely incredible. Like the quality of the stuff and the quantity, I could not believe it. I could not believe it. The theme this month is Under the Sea, I believe. So I'm very intrigued to see like what all the items are gonna look like and what books they're gonna be inspired by. But let's just get into it. I'm so excited. Yeah! This has been in my flat for two days, but I haven't been able to film and it has been killing me. Like, it has been so hard. I've been like, maybe I can just have a peek. Maybe I can just have a little peek. But I have held out strong. I have not opened it yet. So let's do it. I will leave. I don't know why I'm pointing at you and scissors. <laughs> Go check out Beverly. That's what she said. And you know what? I... What was that? Okay. James. I'll leave Fairy Loot linked down below their website. If this month is anything close to last month, I will just be astounded. So I'd really recommend checking Fairy Loot out. Oh, I'm not looking at anything in there. I feel like I'm seeing things I shouldn't see. This is our card telling us all about the items this month. What I have to try and do as I go through it is like scan the card because it's got the items in bold. And so I have to try and scan for the item I'm looking for to tell me about it without seeing what the other items are. Like I just have to filter them out of my brain. <laughs> First item, this is the thing I saw. Oh, what? <laughs> A hairbrush. <laughs> now my hair is very knotty. Oh, that's actually a very nice hairbrush. I'm very particular. I've already got all my hair in it. Sorry, I should take that out before I film it. Disgusting! Looks very under the sea themed. I'm always up for another hairbrush. My poor fake tangle teaser. I've had it for like two years. It's really been through it. <laughs> We know all too well how tangled your hair can get after a swim with the mermaids. Very true. I went for, up for a walk last week and when I came back, my hair was like that short because it was all knotted. Fairy loot, no me. Use this hair detangling brush to gently brush out any and all knots. The brush was illustrated by Tara Jar. I really like it. I really like it. Next item. There's a big box and it says to kill a kingdom ceramic mug. Is today a good day? Today's a great day. It's a blessed day. Nope. I don't really have any pretty mugs, any pretty bookish mugs. So like when I was thinking, when they asked me if I wanted to receive these boxes, what I wanted from them, <laughs> the first was a book sleeve. And that's what we had last month. We got a book sleeve and the second was a mug. And now we got it this month. It's like they can read my mind. It's like they know exactly what I want. It's actually a bit scary. Fairy loot be like. I have the mind of a master, master, I have the mind of a mastermind, what's that? I don't know. <gasps> so this mug is so cute. So it's got an illustration, it's, oh my god, that's a, that's an S. <laughs> so it's got an illustration of what looks like Ariel, is to kill a kingdom, basically an Ariel retelling, I don't know. It's really cute. It's really cute. And then on the inside, it has a quote, I assume from the book, saying, it's like holding a story rather than a person. She feels wild and infinite in my arms. Now I have to read this book. <laughs> really cute. Nice size. A nice medium size. The only thing is I have really fat fingers. <laughs> A three finger clasp of the handle. My fingers are a bit too fat for that. So we're gonna have to go for a two, a two and a thumb approach with holding the mug. That's very British of me. <laughs> One can never have too many mugs. That is right. I am 
constantly in need of more. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. We're more than happy to add to your collection with this To Kill a Kingdom mug designed by the talented Gabrielle Ragusi. The mug displays the two main characters from To Kill a Kingdom. I was just looking at my mugs this morning. This is how weird this is. I was looking at my mugs this morning and thinking, you're ugly. And that's the truth. So I'm very happy that I have one that I can drink and be like, I feel a bit bougie drinking from, you know? The hell is gonna be in this? Okay, so whatever this... <laughs> I'm, I'm confused because... This sounds a bit strange, whatever this is. I don't understand what can be this length. Metal sea straws. <laughs> These are so cute. And I assume this is to clean it. <gasps> okay, so these are some like metal drinking straws that are have a blue ombre effect on them and they say beach please <laughs> and make waves. So we've got like a thin one and a thicker one. We are all for metal straws because we are all for saving the planet. If you haven't yet made a swap from plastic straws to metal ones, here's your chance. We hope you love these ombre metal straws which come in two sizes and the most stunning blue shades. We couldn't resist adding a fun beachy quote on each too. Okay, that's really cute. These are definitely a very handy thing to have because like we say, plastic straws are out, metal straws are in. Save the planet, save the turtles. <laughs> okay, let's quickly look at the tarot cards for this month. We have seven of swords and eight of swords. Who are you? This month's featured, oh! Oh, wow. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, wow. This month's featured tarot cards are seven and eight of swords. They're designed by the very talented Catherine Britt and are inspired by Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. So I literally just read Nevernight in my last vlog, which I will link. I assume that's trick, the eight of swords. Who are you? I'm very bad at picturing people in my head. Seven of swords, I assume is either, this is where I can't remember anyone's name because I don't read names. I just recognize names. I don't read names in my head when I'm reading a book and it's all the way over there, my copy. It's either her friend or it's the mean girl, but I don't I don't know which one. Someone tell me in the comments below if you know which of them this is. Okay, what's next? Oh, it's a cute little postcard. Okay, so this is just a cute little Atlantis postcard. I'm gonna put it up there. I'm gonna put it up there on our fairy lights and picture wall. Okay, this is mysteriously wrapped. Oh, we got a keychain. Keychains are much more useful to me than what did we have last time? Like an enamel pin? I don't use pins, but keychains. I have keys, <laughs> surprisingly. Wow. This is Poor Unfortunate Souls inspired by Ursula and this will be going straight on my keys. It's a really cool design. I really love the colors that are used and the design that's used. The beautiful design was done by Love You More Studio. I really love this design. Like this design totally vibes with me. You're that bitch. You're gonna do amazing today. You're fucking beautiful. You're killing. Okay, I think this next item is our last item. It is, oh my God, it's a pencil case. This is actually freaking me out. This is freaking me out because I kid you not, a couple days ago, I was on Amazon looking at pencil cases because I wanted a new one. This is like, I don't, uh, people at Fairy Loot, the Fairy Loot team, I am appealing to you now to stop reading my mind because I don't know what else you've heard. <laughs> Oh my God, it's such a nice one as well. Okay, so on it, it says, don't grant all the prince's requests, darling girl. Men are always asking for more than they should. Sarah Henning, Sea Witch. Oh, I have been like kind of intrigued by Sea Witch, but I'd heard very mixed reviews. That's the reason I'd never read it. It says, keep all your pearls, seashells, and other treasures in this beautiful pencil case. It is very beautiful. The pencil case features the quote from Sea Witch by Sarah Henning and is designed by none other than Ink and Wonder. We are absolutely obsessed with these colors me too it's great quality it's big as well which is useful for us guys and gals who love stationery i am a stationery hoe so this can fit loads of stuff i have no time for those pencil cases that are like that big like what are you fitting in there no you need something that you can fit all of your stationery in so this is what i'm gonna be using as my pencil case now i'm about to go over to my current pencil case take all the stuff out put it in here and bin that fairly just know me what is this this is actually scaring me <laughs> okay and now it's time for the book <sighs> i'm nervous i'm so nervous it was scary it was really scary <gasps> <laughs> okay the book for this month is fable by adrian young it is small like it is <gasps> 
We've got... Okay, hold up a second. It's got the glittery splayed edges again! <laughs> why aren't all sprayed edges glittery? That is my question. Like, why not? I love it oh my god fairy loot really kill it with these sprayed edges wow fable by adrian young i have had a few things about this lately i think this is a different cover but the cover i've seen like has half her face on it i'll put a picture in so i'm not sure if this is an entirely like cover redesign if it is i'm glad it is because this cover is much nicer than the other cover i ain't a fan of the other cover yeah it's true ask about it ask as the daughter of the most powerful trader in the Narrows, the sea is the only home 17-year-old Fable has ever known. It's been four years since her father abandoned her on a legendary island filled with thieves and little food. To survive, she must keep to herself, learn to trust no one, and rely on the unique skills her mother taught her. The only thing that keeps her going is the goal of getting off the island, finding her father, and demanding her rightful place beside him and his crew. To do so, Fable enlists the help of a young trader named West. We already know where that's going. <laughs> but Fable soon finds that West isn't what he seems. Together they will have to survive more than the treacherous storms that haunt the Narrows if they're going to stay alive. Okay, cool. I'm gonna give this a go soon. I feel like I'm gonna read this pretty soon. I, ha I haven't ever read a mermaidy book. Ever, I don't think. So I'm definitely excited to do so and to try this out. I really love the design of this. I think it is beautiful. <laughs> I've just read the fairy loop card and it says this exclusive edition has a completely redesigned exclusive cover and I much prefer it. Well done, Fairy Lee, because this cover is gorgeous. I love how her hair is shiny and like the rest of the cover is matte. We also have the author letter, which I won't read out to you because it's like long, but I really like the art design on that. I often put these like on my bookshelf. Obviously, I'm not with my bookshelf right now, but I'll probably put these like at the edges of my book cart whilst I'm here at uni. I'm really happy with this book. I can't wait to get to read this and I think is gonna be one that I read very, very soon. I like how it's small. It makes it not very daunting. Fairy Loot have once again knocked it out the park. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. How do they read my mind? If I'm honest, I would say I, stu I still do prefer the items in the first box. I feel like I'll just get more use out of them. However, this box is very, very nice too. I would definitely recommend checking them out down below because I am just astounded every single time. Why are you so in love with me? Jesus, tell me I wanna know. Thank you very much for watching my unboxing. If you have, let me know down below if you are subscribed to Fairly or if you're considering it. And yeah, I will see you very, very soon in another video. Bye.